Good morning. I just wanted to read a little something to y'all and say hello to my little horse friends. I'm about to go to work here soon. September 7th. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John 1, 29. Spotless. You're clean, my child. Spotless. Pure. I know some days you wonder if it's true. Some days you face the old nature that acts in ways you know are wrong. Sometimes you battle the temptations of your old life. And sometimes you fall and need to, me to pick you up, dust you off, and help you back on the path I've set for you. But when I look at you, I see my son's sacrifice that has made you clean. You are spotless before me. That's what I see, precious one. Read John 1 through 19 through 34. Thank you for sending your son so I can be spotless before you my little book. Hello. <laughs> Another beautiful day. Guys, beware of false prophets. A lot of y'all are falling for it. It says in the end times, you know, many false prophets will rise. And some of y'all <clears throat> so-called, you know, you think you live in the Christian life by posts and stuff like that or talking about stuff like that, but really you're leading people to hell because you're, lead, you're, you're listening to false prophets. Beware of false prophets. They're everywhere, especially if they, you know, are always talking about the positive things and prosperity and all this stuff. And they're fake. They're false. I can name a couple of them. There's the T.D. Jakes. He's one of them. Um, Joel Olstein, definitely one of them. Um, that Steven dude, young dude, he's one of them. Um, uh, Kenneth Copeland or whatever his name is. Yeah, t I mean, you can just look at him and tell he's a false prophet. But not all of them are so easy to discern. You got to pray for discernment to know the difference. But anyway, stay blessed in the Lord. Um, it's a beautiful day. Stay watching for them, my friends. Love you all. Pray for you all, even the ones that don't like me.